This morning we read Philippians chapter 1, verse 27, down to verse 11 of uh, chapter 2. Conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Look what God has done for you in Christ. Therefore, live a life worthy. Don't bring shame to him. Look how much he cost for your sins to be removed. Therefore, live worthy. And then he goes on to explain Jesus is our example. He didn't look out for his own interests, but looked out for ours. We also should look out for the interests of others. And Paul quotes a hymn. He may have written this hymn, but he probably, most scholars believe, this hymn predates Paul. In fact, may have been the earliest um, of all Christian hymns. And Paul quotes it, talking about who Jesus is, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used in his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing. By taking the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And you see in this very early Christian hymn, the main themes of the gospel message remain the same. Jesus came from heaven's glory, where equality with the Father was recognised, but he didn't use it for his own advantage. He humbled himself. He came in human form. He had a real human body. He suffered on the cross for our sins that we could be forgiven and is now ascended into heaven, having risen from the dead. The Christian gospel remains constant and the same. This first Christian hymn, this old uh, pronouncement of our faith as the essential elements that we believe today. So don't listen to those who tell you that the early Christians believe something different. Here you see in the oldest um, record of the, what Christians believed, you see the main essentials of the gospel. The Lord bless you.